Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Mini Forum GK41 uh, Intel Mini PC. So here see the specs. It's a Celeron uh, processor with uh, like the J4125, and that's the yeah the J4125 is uh, one of the uh, Gemini Lake. Uh, or Chimini Lake, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, anyway, not the Apollo Lake, and that's the better uh, series, so usually I definitely uh, recommend to buy from this series, not from the uh, 3000 series, that's much better. We also see the Intel graphics is the 600. We have the DR4, 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, that's really cool. And we have also 128 gigabytes of SSD, you can see that. And here all the interfaces and so on. Yeah, means forum. Yeah, usually they are pretty good. I mean, I've tested a couple of these things already and they are really reliable. I haven't found any major problem with them. The only thing is uh, when you want to reset these PCs, so usually it doesn't work. So it looks like the image, the recovery image, uh, doesn't work for the recovery. So you have to make your own USB stick to uh, like reset uh, these PCs. That's the only problem which I have found. Apart from that, they are usually pretty good. So. Uh, yeah, it's interesting regarding the size. It's a pretty thin uh, housing, but it looks like it has a lot of openings uh, for the cooling, which is really good. Some of these mini PCs, they have some really uh, huge thermal issues. And uh, yeah, when they are getting too hot, they of course throttle down the CPU and then you cannot really work or do small games or so. So here the adapters here yeah hope you can uh, see that here nice all these adapters two times even two times uh, ethernet adapter it's pretty uh, impressive and really a lot of openings here so that's uh, nice and we see also the micro sd or just flash card and uh, microphone and uh, speaker or headphones and yeah, there's no opening. I don't know if we can insert. Probably we can insert something here. Add even more storage. Yeah, let's see what we get in the box. There's the HDMI cable. That's something to mount for the uh, TV if you like. Then the uh, power adapter, I guess. So here we have the... Yeah, there's another HDMI cable. That's Is that the mini? Yeah, I think that's a, a mini... HDMI cable, the other one is full size HDMI. Here we have the mini to or mini to mini, even mini to mini. Yeah, somehow it looks like that's mini to mini. That's not bad. That's uh, pretty cool. And then we have the power adapter, which uh, is always uh, what's always interesting to see uh, what it supports if it supports worldwide. Uh, voltage we can see 100 to 240 volts that's probably the most interesting thing 3 amps at 12 volts that's a lot 36 watts yeah i'm not sure if it uses uh, so much power really but uh, if you try to do gaming yeah maybe so yeah i'll hook it up to power and also with a screen and then we'll see how we can set it up and how it performs i'm doing a couple of tests of course to see if you can use that uh, as normal uh, desktop pc if you don't have too much uh, too high expectations and if you want if you don't want to make too many games and so on but uh, this thing i think could be a, a decent pc i mean some of these are available also with an i3 processor that's usually a little bit faster so when you check on the websites and compare this processor so usually this is pretty close to, to an i3 but i had the impression last time that the i3 which i had was faster but let's see how the thing performs 
I've set up everything now, at least I hope so. I have this new really nice uh, Lipao uh, monitor, uh, like portable monitor. You hope you can see that. I'm going to show you that because it could be a little bit interesting also for you if you need something like that with a mini PC transportable. Uh, your portable uh, screen 15 inch 1080p so I have connected it that's a cable that's a uh, mini to I think micro HDMI then then this old keyboard which I had on the side an old mouse yeah I think everything is ready to go the screen should be turned on actually uh, let's try again so it's gonna take a couple of minutes to set everything up but again yeah don't connect to the internet right away when it asks you say no I don't have internet and confirm yeah I don't wanna go with internet setup and so on you can do that uh, later definitely just wait till you see the normal screen. So here we are it took about five minutes only to get here and uh, yeah what I recommend to before you go online uh, go to the system settings and check for the virus and threat protection uh, click on that so usually I mean in general anyway uh, don't just uh, go to the internet start working and so on it will take long long time till you can w uh, work with such a computer when you set it up like the mini PC you will have to uh, wait a couple of hours till you have done all the updates and everything is stable make sure that the time is the correct time it's synced it's updated you have the virus can yeah, I think everything is all right here I think we have the uh, green check marks and so now we can when we have the virus protection that's really important now we can go to the internet and connect to the Wi-Fi can see it supports uh, 2.4G and uh, 5G. I'm going to the 5G even though 5G is a little bit far away but I hope it will be okay because the 2.4G uh, makes a lot of problems and then we go to the update that's really really important Windows update uh, or check, check for updates here so here we have it like uh, your device is missing important security and uh, quality fixes so that's gonna take probably quite long time and I'm not going to show you everything uh, but I highly advise to do all the updates sometimes you'll have to go back if it doesn't do the updates just reboot and then uh, check here again for updates reboot check here updates reboot sometimes it takes hours and hours and hours and only uh, after you have done all the updates then go and download everything I mean yeah download you can start downloading you can go to Microsoft Edge then start downloading uh, Chrome and within Chrome then you can start uh, downloading open office the free o uh, office program and other things you like but don't start to work and think it will be super fast no it won't be it will be super super slow if you want to make like benchmark tests or games or really working you have to wait till everything is finished here so you can see uh, all the updates are done and we were ready to do some testing speed testing I've done this with the user benchmark and uh, yeah there's a free uh, program really nice one which you can use to uh, test the speed and uh, yeah of course as expected for gaming it's not the best PC but for as a desktop as normal desktop yeah it's a speedboat speedboat that sounds good and that's also uh, what's my impression here workstation yeah it doesn't work as a workstation but uh, yeah we can see yeah here system motherboard uh, memory yeah, more information down here yeah the Intel Celeron uh, has been performing above expectations that's pretty cool and I think that's also due to the really low temperature it's extreme uh, how cool these things stay even uh, when doing such performance tests and uh, I think that's really the reason and uh, that's important that's really really important for such mini PCs that you have 
with a really good thermal design so also the fan doesn't have to uh, do a lot of work so it stays uh, very very silent and it's almost impossible to hear anything from the fan that's also really good yeah graphics performing above expectation you can see that uh, drive performing as expected memory kit was above expectation so you, you can see most of these things are above expectations and I when just doing a little bit of things uh, uh, clicking around so on my first expression was really really good so let's check a few websites so I've opened just seven random text sites and uh, you can see when I click through the tabs here all these seven tabs here they open pretty fast so it doesn't uh, you don't have to wait for a long time to uh, reload some of the page yeah one was uh, uh, took a little bit of time to reload so let's see how fast we can go down while browsing and you can see that's pretty fast that's super impressive here I haven't seen so, something like that. That's uh, really lag-free uh, browsing here. I mean, that's super fast. You can see so many pages uh, going down here. Maybe the same. You can see uh, that's uh, extreme. Yeah, I mean, for a mini PC, that's absolutely insane. So let's go a little bit beyond that. So I've been opening uh, Google Earth. You can see now, at least from uh, far away, uh, it's doing a great job now while being closer it has to load a little bit but you can see we can spin this thing around I mean usually it's impossible to do uh, so, such tasks with a mini PC especially with the Celeron I mean when you have an i3 or something like that you can expect something but uh, with a Celeron, yeah, that's pretty impressive here, what we can do. I mean, when we go into larger cities, then it will struggle a little bit, that's normal. I've been zooming in a little bit, and uh, that's Paris, obviously, and you can see that's pretty cool. That's not bad, I mean, that's one of the best performances what I've ever seen from a mini PC, and I've also been testing the i3, that comes pretty close to an Intel i3 I would say yeah the 8 gigabytes of RAM definitely help and the nice cooling of the PC so here we are now on Google Map 3D and with the I think that's the Yorktown US Yorktown old battleship and uh, 3D with a nice bridge and you can see we can uh, go around pretty quickly I zoom in a little bit more but you can see that's really nice i mean almost lag free the only lags which i have is with my mouse but apart from that looking really really impressive we can zoom out zoom in here yeah for a mini pc that's what you want to see i mean there are a lot of mini pcs outside uh, out there which you can't use to do that so I'll move the camera a little bit to the side so you can see I have the mini PC here and after doing all these 3D tasks and the performance test and everything it's not even really warm it's not actually it's not even warm it's it's almost cold this is absolutely crazy I haven't seen that from any mini PC usually they are highly struggling especially with this uh, rather flat design this is a rather flat design and it still has a really nice thermal uh, performance so that's uh, one of the best things I have ever seen yeah, of course what you also want to see is the system information from Windows itself and we can see yeah the Germany Lake CD8 gigabytes of RAM and here the storage settings you can see originally it had 119 gigabytes and 30 gigabytes are used for the windows and all the updates maybe we could free something but i've in, been installing a couple of things in the meantime the open office and uh, chrome of course and uh, yeah a couple of other downloads i mean by the way that's the first uh, open here we actually don't want to see first uh, start we want to see after uh, after that so i have now the open office writer 
I double click let's see how fast this is and you can see we are already uh, ready to write absolutely uh, lag free uh, that's pretty impressive I mean the open office is always really performant you can also do this with Apollo Lakes but with this thing here absolutely no problem so we are here at the crazy game rebel forces and uh, trying to play a little bit around so usually with mini pieces uh, that can be an extreme difference so most of them uh, are able to uh, use that or, or play that thing you have to uh, turn the volume down a little bit okay let's see what we can do but it's almost lag free that's uh, crazy yeah that's nice so it's been very easy to play on a medium quality level now let's even try with the high i have never seen a mini pc where i've been able to uh, go too high and still on high it's very good so i have uh, enough frames uh, it's very smooth yeah some easy hits makes a lot of fun here uh, yeah usually there are a lot of noobs here around and uh, yeah I can stop this here so really yeah almost for the first time uh, where it makes a lot of fun in this game and here's the result of the uh, hardware monitor to monitor the CPU temperature and the height was uh, 71 yeah I'm turning down the volume a little bit there was some automatic respawn yeah uh, 71 degrees that's not bad currently at the end of the game it was 69 I hope we can push this away it was yes around 69 at the end of the gaming or I, I'm, I'm actually still in the game so and uh, maximum was 71 I've seen uh, much much higher and uh, yeah still when I turn this around I mean inside yeah of course the CPU gets a little bit warm uh, but outside absolutely nothing to feel here yeah that's pretty impressive yeah because this mini PC was running so well I decided for the first time to download a dedicated 3D game which is the PUBG I mean it's not the official PUBG it's the PUBG Lite for PC and of course it has a highly reduced uh, graphic uh, capability but uh, still it's a full 3D game and it's running absolutely smooth yeah even when we come closer to large 3D objects it's absolutely no problem we can use everything we can open everything go into uh, objects it's absolutely no problem as you can see it's uh, like the original one with a strong PC it's just a reduced graphics so you can I think you can have a, a lot of fun even with a mini PC with uh, the right software I think we can now finish the testing I'm uh, super happy with uh, everything I mean yeah definitely as a desktop PC for a little bit office browsing uh, a little bit of 3d and every now and then maybe small uh, even 3d game you will absolutely love this super small uh, size really uh, cool thermal design and uh, low price just a little bit above 200 dollars i mean i had really a lot of fun with that uh, it was an easy update easy installation everything uh, everything without really big problems or so i had already it has a lot of these mini pcs and uh, i can tell you definitely that was the fastest one i, I think that was even faster than the uh, i3 i will compare this maybe i'll uh, also put down the uh, detailed review of the i3 but i had the impression that this thing was even faster than the i3 and 
price is definitely better so i would uh, rather go with this one and uh, especially with the temperature temperature is awesome i mean that's really insane and i'll put down the link uh, to the amazon listing down into the description down there so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it yeah, and uh, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about your things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.